Power systems are built to handle the stress. But there are some faults that can bring even the strongest power system on their knees. There are two types of fault in the power system, open circuit fault and short circuit fault. But not all the faults are created equal. In short circuit, it could be symmetrical or asymmetrical fault. fault. There are few faults which are the most dangerous types of fault and can have severe consequences on the power system. In this video, we are going to understand what are the different types of fault in power system, which of them are the most severe and what consequences they can have on the power system. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Gaurav Joshi. On this channel, I simplify substations, power system and switchgear related topics. So if you are somebody who are interested to learn these concepts in the easiest way, then you have to click on the subscribe button because that's how you will be getting updates on our latest coming videos. All right, so let us start with uh, the types of fault that we have in the power system. But before we go and understand which is the most critical, the complex, the severe fault that we have, it's important that we understand what do we mean by fault. Let us take a simple analogy to understand. Imagine we have a, a light bulb which is connected to a power source. Now the intended path for this uh, current that is flowing into the circuit is from the source to the light bulb and then back to the source. That is my intended path. Now when the current follows this intended path is what we call as the normal situation, the normal operating condition. But the moment the current changes its intended path, we call it as a fault. For example, let's say something happened and one of the phase wire is now touching the ground. You can see it here. And as a result, this connection is created. The current will start flowing through this path and not from its intended path. Why? Because here, this newly created path is offering less opposition to the current, less impedance to the current. And that's why the current will decide to flow through this path. And since the impedance offered by this path is much lower uh, than the original path, the amount of current that flows through this will be very, very high. In power system, it can go to several thousand amperes. Now, if you don't know what do we mean by impedance, I have a very simple and easy to understand video on that. You'll get a link for that down in the description. You can go and understand the concept of impedance. So whenever current diverts from its intended path, it's what we refer to as the fault. Even if the conductor opens or breaks down, the current will stop flowing through that. And that is also a fault condition. So if you look at a simple definition of fault, it says a situation in which current in a closed circuit is diverted from its intended path is called a fault. Very, very simple. And as, as we discussed uh, in the beginning of this video, there are two types of fault that can happen in the power system. One is the open circuit fault where the conductor is broken or, uh, or something has happened and there is no closed circuit. So current will stop flowing through that circuit and it's uh, again the condition of fault. And then we have the short circuit where two conductors are getting connected to each other or one phase wire and the ground is getting connected uh, with each other. That condition is known as a short circuit condition. If you are interested in learning more about short circuit, again, I have a dedicated video talking on what do we mean by short circuit? What do we mean by open circuit? I'll put link for both the video down in the description. You can go and check them out. Now let us first start with the open circuit list, understand what are the different types of fault we have in the open circuit. Now, as I said, in open circuit, the conductor will be uh, broken down because of some reason, or maybe it is cut down and the no current is flowing. So there could be, let's say, one conductor open fault where one conductor is open and balanced two conductors are perfectly fine and working okay. Or there is possibility both conductor from the three conductors are broken down and they are not working. Or maybe all three conductors are in the open circuit condition that is called as three conductor open fault. Now these faults are not very severe in the power system and you will not see a very serious consequences of that. But they can put stress on uh, the healthy uh, phases that we have. Now in the three conductor open fault 
the complete supply is gone there will not be any current flowing through the system so this is okay but the other fault for example the two conductor open fault now since both the conductors are gone down and if you have connected a three phase load it will put additional load on the b phase and that when that will overheat and uh, insulation may break down and things can go wrong there but the consequences are not very severe in this case right so that is the open circuit fault which takes us to the second type of fault that we have is the short circuit fault now the short circuit fault is classified again into the two categories the symmetrical fault and the asymmetrical fault and one of this is the most dangerous types of fault the power system can see we'll talk about them in a minute now before we go uh, and understand which is the most severe it is important that you understand this terminologies what do we mean by symmetrical what do we mean by asymmetrical and why the name of uh, these faults are given as symmetrical and asymmetrical uh, let us let us understand that first let's start with the symmetrical fault now what happens is when this type of fault occurs the current flowing through all the three phases is equal i'm talking about the fault current now the whatever fault current is flowing through r phase y phase and b phase will be the same will be identical all the three currents will be still displaced in 120 degree angle as we see it in the normal condition so you can say that the system was in the balanced condition before the fault occurred and the system is still in the balanced condition even after the fault has occurred when such type of scenario comes when such type of fault comes it is referred to as the symmetrical fault and if you look at the waveform of current in any one of the phases you will find that both the positive side and the negative side positive half cycle and the negative half cycle is same right there is perfect symmetry in that and that's why they are referred to as the symmetrical fault now the the question can arrive that okay my system was balanced before the fault and even after the fault my system is balanced so does that mean it is a good fault or it's it's a, a perfectly well situation well of course not this is not a good situation rather the symmetrical fault is the most severe fault the power system can see there are different types of that uh, which we'll talk in the coming slide right so that is symmetrical fault the second type of fault which is asymmetrical in nature now i hope you would have understood why they are called as asymmetrical fault the reason is in this type of fault the fault current flowing into the system is not 120 degree and if you look at the waveform uh, maybe the positive half cycle is larger negative half cycle is maybe smaller or the vice versa so there is asymmetry in the system and that's why they call as uh, they called as the asymmetrical fault right and asymmetrical fault are the most common types of fault the power system sees and if you look at the different types of fault that is involved in that the first one and the most common type is line to ground fault now what is happening in this fault is one of the phases okay could be r phase y phase or b phase is getting connected with the ground creating a short circuit and that is what we call as lg fault or line to ground fault the most common type of fault you will find in the power system occurs very very frequently there is another variation on another type of uh, asymmetrical fault is line to line fault in this fault what is happening out of three phases two phases are getting connected with each other it could be r phase y phase or y phase b phase or r phase b phase any combination is possible when this happens uh, we call it as line to line fault or phase to phase fault right now you can see from this is very clear that of course in this particular situation the current that is flowing from y phase and b phase will be very high but r phase may be carrying the normal current so this is asymmetry in the system this is not a balanced fault hence the name is asymmetrical fault we have another variant here uh, in this case we have two phases that is getting connected to each other in addition to that also it is getting connected to the ground right so that is trip a double line to ground fault now as i mentioned the occurrence of asymmetrical types of fault is very common in the system if you look at the statistics almost 90 to 95% of the fault that is seen in the power system are asymmetrical in nature 
contributed majorly by the line to ground fault which is almost 70 to 80 percent of that are this fault severe well not as severe as the next type of fault that we are going to see that is symmetrical fault uh, they will generate short circuit current for sure but it will not be as high as the symmetrical fault uh, currents so system sees this type of fault very frequently and now our breakers the protective system is capable enough for tackling this type of fault but the next type of fault that is the symmetrical fault is very very dangerous let's let's talk about that now now in symmetrical fault what happens is the one type of fault is all the three phases are getting connected to each other so r phase y phase and b phase are somehow connected to each other they are creating a short circuit and as a result the short circuit current that will flow from each of the phase uh, will be same identical and they will have a symmetry in the nature and that's why uh, they called as symmetrical fault right this is a triple line fault this is called as triple line fault there is another variation into that and that is triple line to ground fault here all the three phases are connected together plus the ground is also in the picture so for sure when this type of fault occurs uh, the short circuit current is the highest in the system and of course when the short circuit currents are high uh, there are consequences attached to that let us have a look at the different consequences it can have so of course the massive short circuit current as we discussed it generates the large amount of current large amount of short circuit current and symmetrical fault is one of the major contributor contributing factor in selecting the short circuit uh, short circuit capabilities of the circuit breaker you cannot ignore it for sure you cannot then since we are generating a lot of current lot of short circuit current it will generate a lot of heat and if this fault is not handled in the uh, certain amount of time uh, it may result into fire as well of course when the huge short circuit current is generated it also generates the electromagnetic forces and that can create mechanical damage to the equipments the generator may damage the transformer may damage because the windings will experience a lot of force and that can damage uh, the transformer also of course if the fault is not cleared within the time it may cascade and it can create the complete instability in the system and it can bring uh, even the strongest power system on their knees that capability is there but uh, thanks to the advanced protective system the uh, improvement in the circuit breakers uh, these faults can be tackled using that uh, of course it can create danger to the personnel so if some persons are working into the vicinity of uh, uh, the fault that is occurring it can create uh, flash uh, dangerous gases and a lot of things so it can be danger to the persons who are working near to the fault condition so this is a danger situation for sure we cannot uh, ignore this the circuit breaker short circuit breaking capacities must be uh, selected based on the symmetrical fault calculation in the power system but uh, what i can say is if you look at the statistics this type of fault the symmetrical fault uh, the occurrence of that in the power system is less than 5% in the power system. Again, the majority lies with the symmetrical fault. Symmetrical faults less than 5%. But if they happens, we saw the consequences. It's dangerous and severe, right? So I hope uh, you understood the different types of fault. If I have, we have to summarize it quickly. We have two types of fault in the power system, open circuit and short circuit. In open circuit, we saw... Uh, one conductor open two conductor open or even three conductor open they are not very severe in nature and uh, our protective system can handle that very easily no problem at all then we saw short circuit we saw we have uh, symmetrical fault and we have a symmetrical fault a symmetrical fault are the most common type 90 to 95 percent of the faults in the power system are symmet asymmetrical in nature that includes the most common line to ground double line and double line to ground fault then we talked about asymmetrical fault that includes triple line fault and triple line to ground fault the most severe and the most dangerous fault but their occurrence is limited to five percent right i hope that is clear to you now now if you are interested in learning about the structure of power system how the power system is arranged the single line diagram of power system then i have a dedicated video on that 
I'll put link for it down in the description. Definitely check that out if you are not sure how uh, the voltage is uh, stepped down and how the structure of power system is. Right? So I hope uh, you understood uh, the types of fault in the power system. If this video was helpful, then give it a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts via comment. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.